Good evening, dear friends. Today, we are honored to have someone who is of a great stature. And I believe that destiny does shape us and we come across people who are as wonderful as their work is. I have no words to explain my happiness tonight on this show, Deep Talks, Virtual Reality on Love and Life. But Srishti would introduce this man who is not only doing wonders in his acting, but more than that, motivating many people around the globe. So we have Srishti and Major Mohammed Ali Shah with us tonight on Deep Talks. And your host is going to be narrating few experiences of her own life by conversing with Major Mohammed Ali Shah. I'm so proud today to have him, the best speaker across the globe, who's going to be sharing his enriching experiences on our show. And it is going to be an amazing conversation full of vitality. So please comment, like, and share if you do really feel that this show deserves to be called a show of love and life. Thank you so much. Welcome Srishti on board Deep Talks and I would love you to introduce the terrific guest tonight. Thank you, ma'am. Good evening and welcome everyone. It is my honor to introduce to you our guest for tonight, Major Muhammad Ali Shah. Major Muhammad Ali Shah is the most sought-after international TEDx speaker who has given the highest number of TEDx talks not only in India but in the world. He was recently invited to speak at the prestigious Seeding STEM Global Summit conducted jointly by the esteemed Cambridge University and London University and his keynote address on 5th September 2020 was highly applauded by all. He has spoken at two George Talks and an MS Talk and various other prestigious events. Major Ali is a lifestyle and wellness coach, motivational speaker and a storyteller too, having conducted numerous training sessions for corporates and children. His assignments for HDFC Live were in sessions of motivational talks were conducted across Pan-India, Delhi, Bangalore and Calcutta was highly appreciated by one and all and got him standing ovations at all locations. Another interesting and prestigious assignment was for Pyramid Reality, that of a storyteller, to make kids and elders too aware of the Indian culture and rituals and the significance behind the festivals. Of late, he has been continuously working and delivering back-to-back -back motivational sessions on dealing with the coronavirus situation to millions across the globe, which has uplifted many people in this trying times. As a motivator and a speaker, he specializes in converting once negatives into positives, disadvantages into advantages, liabilities into assets, darkness into light, weaknesses into strengths. As an initiative to give back to society, to educate and empower people, Major Ali recently announced his new venture to conduct online learning sessions at an extremely reasonable and affordable rate. This venture, his online communications academy, received an overwhelming response and is doing extremely well. Major Ali Shah was invited to be an Indian jury for the prestigious International Public Speaking Championship that was held for the first time ever in India on the 21st of December 2019 and again in the online version of the same in September 2020. He joined the Short Service Commission in the Army to train as a commando and was posted at the Indo Park border at the line of control as a long, young lieutenant. He was awarded a commendation card for its exceptional and meritorious service to the nation for being unmindful of his own personal safety and going beyond the call of duty while serving with the Assam Rifles in the Northeast. He is also a defense expert, a defense analysis and debate panelist on many popular Indian news channels like Archta, Republic, Times Now, Newsx, Z News, India Head, CNBC and many more. He has also moderated debate sessions at events organized by prestigious organizations like Entrepreneurs Organization, EO Raipur, the Think Literature Festival held at Renaissance Pavai, Mumbai, and at various other such occasions. 
He did his first play when he was five years old and was bitten by the bug of acting ever since. He has a huge body of work in theater, including several productions with alumni of the National School of Drama. He has been highly appreciated as an actor in the recently released film Yara. He has also played the role of a soldier in the much talked about web series of Road as Naik Irfan Khan, based on the Balakot surgical strikes. He is a renowned theater and film personality too, with several international awards in his kitty. He is also a visiting faculty of Subhash Khai's Whistling Woods International. He has also been the Jaipur City Coordinator for the IPL matches since the last two seasons of IPL, including the women's IPL that started this year. Major Mohammed Ali Shah has acted in FTII Alminus, Sri Ram Raghavan's Agent Vinod, and in Vishal Bhardwaj's Heather, which won five national awards, apart from several other prestigious film awards. He has also acted in acclaimed filmmaker Janu Bharat's Broken Window, produced by Priyanka Chopra. Incidentally and interestingly, most of the filmmakers Shah has worked with are National Film Award winners. Major Ali won the coveted award of Best Actor at the prestigious Delhi International Film Festival, Best Actor at the International Film Festival of Prague, apart from a special mention by jury and critics for outstanding performance and Best Actor at the Aligarh Film SARS International Film Festival. He did his schooling from Lawrence School, Lovedale, and graduated from the Parisian College, Pune. While in Pune, he acted in several short films with the students of the Film and Television Institute of India and has a certificate from there. He is also an alumni of the prestigious IIM Calcutta and has done theatre with citizens such as Tom Alter and Nasiruddin Shah, who incidentally is his father's younger brother. His father has served as the deputy chief of the army staff and also is the former vice chancellor of the Aligarh Muslim University and is currently the pro chancellor of the prestigious USTM and has been a member of the board of Realms Boys School and IIM Lucknow. At this juncture, I would also feel honored to introduce you with Dr. Guleen Coker, a noble soul and a renowned psychologist. She has conducted so far 66 interviews with celebrated dignitaries prominent in their respective fields from all across the globe for the recognition of their innovative ideas and works for the well-being of the society. Dr. Coker is also a well-known counselor. Anyone who knows her, including me, remain eager to seek her guidance and blessings for a life free of sins and worries. Today, she has chosen Major Muhammad Ali Shah to share his wonderful experiences and achievements in the 67th episode of Deep Talks. I invite all of you to enjoy this terrific and inspiring conversation with her. I am sure that you all will relish this beautiful talk and will also participate in it by commenting, liking, and sharing it with your loved ones. With this, I leave the virtual stage of communication open to the public and man for leading the way up. Thank you, sir and ma'am. Thank you so much, Srishti. It was wonderful and indeed an introduction that needs and standing ovation. And I'm so sure that Ali is going to be enlightening this virtual reality and I am going to be so happy in conversation with him tonight. So welcome once again, Ali, to this wonderful platform where we are going to converse. And I'm sure that there are going to be people who are going to like this conversation for the facts that you'll be sharing with us tonight. And it's my honor to have you on board Deep Talks. It is indeed the best conversation I could ever think of in my life. Thank you so much, Gurleen. Sasrikal, Kial Chal, Sabchanga. Thank you for inviting me here. And uh, it was actually the standing ovation is not on the introduction. It's the way Shrishti introduced me. That is the standing ovation. And she did it so well. So she actually made me look good in front of you all. But don't believe her, guys. She was just being kind. She was just being sweet. So don't believe half those things. Yeah. All those good things. She was being nice. That's it. 
Yes, truly. So, uh, how did this acting stint start in your life? I would love to ask, and the viewers would love to know from you, Ali, that this is something that it is well stated in the introduction that acting bug hit you at the age of five. So, how would you state that being an actor now, not only on the stage with your real life experiences, you've acted in great movies. How did this all begin? Was it something that just happened and you knew and your parents knew or was it over the time and how would you define it now? Well, uh, Guleen, firstly, I'd like to say hi to uh, Mr. Arasu P. Arasu P has been commenting. Yes. I'm very sweet of Arasu. Thank you very yes. much. And please keep them coming. It really encourages us because we yes. don't speak in such blood coming from a theatre background where you have people no. watching you. This is the only way you yes. know an audience is watching you and responding to you, right? Yes. Now, how about start? You know, Guleen, I was five years old. I went on stage for the first time ever in my life. And I enjoyed the feeling of being on stage. Great. And then people keep looking out for me. Hey, chota hai, wo hai, hai. He was very good on stage. And then on stage, pe, I learned the lines and I had gone uh, with my performance prepared. I knew that this was going to be done. But True. in real life, off stage, True. what was I? I'll tell you. I was this boy who couldn't speak at all, actually. I would stammer, stutter, lisp, get stuck while speaking, introverted, shy, timid boy. In 4G language, you would describe that character as a sissy character. I was that True. boy. The back bench of the class. Yes. If a visitor totally would come to my house, <laughs> and if a visitor would come to my house, I would lock myself in the room, go under the bed, hide, and not come out. Why? se mera naam na puchne. If they ask me my <laughs> name, then I am in trouble. I am done for. So I would just look down. Hey, hey. Yes. So, but I realized I used to be a different personality when I would come on stage. True. And the reason behind it is because now I had prepared, I knew the lines, I knew what is to be said. That is the reason. True. Now that when is I something that is, that is the real concept of, you know, uh, coming out of the cocoon that you are in. You act the opposite of what you were. So it is indeed a pleasure because I also myself were, uh, was an introvert. And I feel that, you know, one incident in your life can awaken uh, your thought to a whole new level. And then you can become something that is really unimaginable. And I do believe that hosting many guests on this show, many people ask me, how do you do this? How do you make people comfortable on your show before they even come live? So I said, this is something that's, you know, happening over the years that I'm learning from everyone because everyone has something to give and to share. So if we learn to express and to communicate, what better a way and what better a world it would be. Because I would love to know from you, you have an academy and I would love to know more about it, that how did this seed of thought arrive in your mind to start a communication academy? I would love to know because this is something I'm sure that must have come from an experience of your own life, like you rightly stated. You were fearing that people would ask your name, you would hide under the bed. So I would love to ask you that what is the need of the communication nowadays and how it should be rightly stated and how it impacts the human mindset. Uh, Guleen, so I went up on stage when I was in class 7th and I, well, it's a secret actually. I Come closer. I'll share, I'll share it with you. Come closer. I'll whisper in your ear. So I went up on stage. True. So I went up on stage and in the front row was sitting this damsel this girl who I had a crush on in school. You all have crushes in school, right? Great. Great. And the moment I saw her, but yeah, I forgot my lines. I could see my cheeks That's becoming cool. cold, my hands yeah. shivering. My cheeks turned red. My ears were becoming hot. And the veins were in the forehead. They were falling. They were falling. They were falling. They were falling. It was all dark. I did not know what to do. And I had a piece of paper yeah. with me in my hands. That in case I forget my lines, I will refer to that script. <laughs> now my hands were shaking. So I did not know what to do. But everyone made fun of me after that. And I was always teased 
bullied and I always been pinned down by I didn't have any friends in school nobody wanted to be friends with me in fact yeah so i had a that was very difficult i failed yeah. in class 9 i ultimately I, then i failed in class 9 you know i was so underconfident i repeated a year <laughs> yeah it was very difficult a very challenging time for me and i had already failed in class 5 the entrance not in, school, in class in school the entrance test for the prestigious doon school when my parents yeah. registered me at 3 months old so entrance exam for doon i couldn't clear in class i failed in class 10th i got a compartment exam in maths after my 12th Perfect. i couldn't clear i couldn't clear the entrance test for the national defense academy in my graduation in pune in ferguson college i got yes i failed in english huh, by the way that time and i <laughs> scored one out of 100 in english no i'm not exaggerating i can i can forward you my mark sheet if you want i so got that's, that's, that's wonderful i think the audience is going to love this amazing conversation you're speaking something that's going to you know some people can relate to it even i can relate to my failure in the school that i chose medical and i flopped and i flunked and there were people talking about she is leaving the medical to opt for arts i mean she's doing a blunder where only three streams were you know worshiped and now there is this lady who's going from you know medical to arts why is she even taking that so i can relate to it and there are going to be many people who are going to relate to this even your story of liking and having that crush and all that stuff so this is fantastic so yes you please carry on nali after my graduation i tried for the nsd the national school of drama i failed in my entrance test twice then i tried for the jamia millia islamia mass communication i failed in the entrance test over there as well and then i went for some job interview that there was a company called spectra mind a call center they rejected me okay they went for on the call center interview genpac that time ge capital okay. international service very famous company yes they, they rejected yes. me there as well and then finally after a week they said sir you had come for interview but we liked your honesty we liked that the very fact that you did not hide any facts from us so you seem to True. be a man of honesty and integrity we like that quality yes. about you please yes. come once more so i went once again for the interview and this time i got selected and i joined that call center for a year then i went for wow. my army training i got through the i cracked the upsc exam for the officers training at the combined defense services joined the army after that uh, okay. then i went the parade when i had two i had two fractured legs on 26 january 2008 with those two fractured legs i led the assam rifles marching contingent at rajpath new delhi saluting the president of our country on pain killers with two fractured legs and that video oh the 28 second video is there on youtube i uh, arasu yes. i would request you arasu you are there with us they if you yes. go to youtube and punch in mohammad ali shah you will find a link a youtube link or put mohammad ali shah parade you will find the 28 second video yes. that link you can share for our viewers and the same link can be used to subscribe to my youtube channel you can comment like that anyhow so i had a difficult childhood that way and i said whatever i went through the trauma the agony the pain the anxiety that i went through nobody else no no the child will go through that go through that so i said let me help people the same boy who couldn't speak at all in his childhood today holds a world record yes rather has created a world record for having given the highest number of tedx talks number of tedx in the world yes probably the highest the best biggest platform in the world not just in yes. india but outside india as well in foreign countries internationally globally sure. so yeah. if the boy who couldn't speak can do that so can anyone else over here yeah exactly so how yeah. how did this happen the highest number of tedx talks so what was your feeling when you heard about this and there was this world record happening and you know arasu has joined us thanks a lot arasu for you know commenting and we are surely going to read your comments so we are feeling fantastic that you have joined our conversation and there are more people who are going to be watching this video later on so how was uh, your feeling when you know you saw yourself from one corner of being an introvert and hiding from people and now getting this reward of having this uh, highest number of talks on tedx platforms uh, how were you really feeling about it and what message had you given to those people uh, that one message that you can give to all others that uh, how to conquer the fear and really? the tips that people can utilize in their daily life so that they can you know have that motivation that zest to living life a little a little more better 
I'll tell you, if I'll share a secret with all of you, in fact, those who have come to watch your show, they deserve to know the secret and they will benefit a great deal from this. But before that, uh, I had requested Arasu, but Shrishti, since you are here, I would request you, if you go to YouTube and put Muhammad Ali Shah Parade, you'll get a link. Just share that link sure. over here. And just write over there that, that sure. link is there too. You can subscribe my YouTube channel. And yeah, Shrishti, they're counting on you on that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So now... <laughs> So now what happened is, I how I, I believe nothing in life, people say it just happened. Nothing in life just happened. Nothing in life just happened. You yes. are responsible for that through some action in your life. Some step you must have taken in life subconsciously that led you to this no. state. So today, no. whatever situation we are in, good or no. bad, we are no. responsible ourselves for our own actions. Our actions are responsible yes. somewhere. Yes. Very well said. We must have done Very well said. which we are in this state today. Good state or a bad state. True. Now, I was doing, I, after the army, I went to IIM Calcutta, studied management, started working in the corporate yes. sector. I was CEO of a company and I was earning a yes. fat figure salary. Like I started off on a six figure salary after IIM. True. But... And I was getting a promotion every year. I was performing. I'm an energetic guy. I love to perform. I love to deliver. I'm enthusiastic. Yeah. I would love to yeah. communicate. Right. I was good at sales and marketing and talking to people and convincing people, in fact. So good. every year I was getting a promotion good. and I was growing. I was growing the corporate ladder. But I soon realized sure. I was basically falling in the corporate trap. Everyone advised yeah. me now that you have a plum job. There's off money coming in. Why don't you take a loan for good 30 years? You're young right now. Buy a big house on loan. Buy a big car on loan. People in the West, they mortgage stuff. I said, no, I don't believe in the concept of loan. Firstly, it's unnerving. Sure. I will buy a house and I will buy a big house without taking any yes. loan. I will buy a car. Fantastic. I'll buy a big car, not for myself, but for my family. Not on loan. Yes. But, but we should learn to live within our means. If I will not have money, I will not buy a big car. I would rather ride a bicycle. And I will ride a bicycle, just, which I have also. Yeah. True, yeah. true. I have That's also. Fantastic. I bought yeah. a bicycle first, in fact. It was yeah, there's no shame in owning a bicycle. Yeah, people do believe in statuses and they do have a thought that the people who are having a lot of uh, rich cars and all... They are much better in their lifestyle. So that's a wrong notion set by people. And I do not believe in this. Uh, though I do agree with you that you should live by your means. That's very well stated by you that you have a bicycle. You would rather like to, you know, go slow and steady and progress in life than, you know, imitate anyone and not be anywhere but be in depression. That's a fantastic statement by you, which people should follow. And I'm sure that people are going to be remembering your conversation and they're going to take a lot from today, whatever you are saying, I'm sure even Arasu, Srishti, who have joined us and the ones who will be watching us later, they will have that josh when they'll hear you. Because apart from all this, you've also uh, spoken at two josh talks on MS talks, including many other prestigious events. How do you deal up with the organization of your time? Because that is something that people do not know, time management. So uh, apart from whatever you were sharing, I would love you to throw some light on how can one prioritize their tasks to come this far as far as you've come? Gurin, I'll share a true incident with you. I'll share this in a small story. What? 17th November 2003, the year, I was posted in Jammu Kashmir along with my regiment at the Indo-Pak oh. border where our post, the Indian post where I was deployed, was just 30 oh. meters away from the Pakistan post. And at that time, there was no ceasefire between us. So they, the yes. Pakistani would fire on us, we would fire on them. And it was quite a bloody scene, I would say, actually, that time. Hi, Krishna, oh. how are you? <laughs> yeah. So when I was deployed there, one fine night on 17th November, we received an input and information that a group okay. of foreign mercenaries, terrorists, yes. had entered a village and they were hiding in a hut. Okay. So immediately I was the QRT commander. QRT is a quick reaction team. And I took yes. my platoon and one company came, one battery came and we were deployed around that village and we had caught in that village. 
Then a senior sure. of mine from the army, now he's a colonel, that he was a captain, Captain Seni sir, told me, okay. उस झोपड़ी में बैठे हैं घुसपैठ जहां पे आए हुए हैं हाइडिंग इन दैट हट सो आई विल गो इनसाइड नो वन इज गोइंग टू कम बिहाइंड मी मैं अंदर जा रहा हूं मेरे पीछे कोई नहीं आएगा एंड ही वेंट कॉलिंग एंड ही वेंट इनसाइड द हट सो इट वाज वेरी सीरियस एक्चुअली इट वाज लाइक यू नो वी माइट इट माइट साउंड लाइक दिस बट ही एक्चुअली इट वाज अ वेरी वी वर ऑल अ हार्ट वाज थ्रोबिंग वी ऑल नर्वस वी डिड नॉट नो व्हाट विल टू हैपन एक्चुअली एंड ही एंटर्ड he entered the hut we couldn't see anything all we could hear was gun fire going on inside the hut true it was less than less than 2 minutes actually less than 2 minutes but those less than 2 minutes felt like two long days can understand you do not know what's going on inside and I- exactly I being the second in command, attempted to go inside, but the orders of my senior were like, "No one's going to come behind me." So I was preparing myself to go inside, and the door of that hut opens. When the door of that hut opened, we saw Captain Seni coming out like a big superhero. He had neutralized the enemy who we were assigned to neutralize, and he told a motorola set. and he passed a signal that he has cleared the hideout and we cleared the area that night when i had dinner with captain seni in a tent it was very cold yes. he told me you know ali when i went inside the hut as i opened the door there was a fraction of a second where i came face to face with the commander of the terrorists Uh, he was holding his weapon at me and i was holding my weapon at him true and there was only a 1 meter distance just 1 meter distance and difference yes now the golden question here arose was who will pull the trigger first who will fire first whoever pull the trigger first whoever fires first will live to tell the tale and i yes. so happy to pull the trigger first yeah it was actually uh, we it was i can't even describe to you how we all were feeling it I was terrifying to it yes yeah it was it terrifying is, it is going to be and yeah. uh, when he pulled the trigger the and then he, after he fired in the house all right so that was the value of a split second true on 20th yes. january we see air force aircraft displaying diamond formation yes. spear formation diamond different yes. formation in the sky imagine the synchronization True. and the coordination that they would be having if they go wrong yes. by half a second they can be disaster mid air yes i'm a tennis player right yeah. and there is and yeah. there is a wonderful girl by the name of ria okay All right. who is a participant in my online public speaking academy she is a national tennis player and uh, she is she is in chandigarh right now so riya and i just this morning this, this evening we were discussing at 7 o'clock that you know as a tennis player when you serve yes a uh, ace serve ace means the opponent can pick, cannot pick up your serve yes it was just a split second not even a split second that you can get a serve and that serve yes. can make a wimbledon Yeah, uh, true. You can you can win a win a Wimbledon with that. So true, that is the true. split second. So I realized the value. Why in the army we are also punctual? This is the reason. Yes. Yeah. It was not just that was not a million dollar second. It was a second of a lifetime. True. It cannot true. just make or break. It can do a lot. So that is how first we realize the value of time through there. Hmm? Exactly. Second. That's well stated. I believe. I have done a lot of things in life, like you know, I've seen a lot of failures in life. In fact, so yes. don't see the glamour or don't see my success. See the hard work and the struggle, and the disappointment and the heartbreaks and the rejections behind my success. See that. True. So today I'm a motivational speaker as well, not because I am the smartest or the wisest or the or the best. No, I certainly am not. 
today I'm a motivational speaker because I probably would have seen more failures, more more humiliations, more struggles, more heartbreaks, more disappointments True. than True. anyone who would be listening to me. But True. I didn't give up. I didn't give up. I fell yeah. down and I got up again. And each time I yeah. fell down, I bounced back even harder. True. That is how I ended up giving being invited by so many TEDx talks. Like, you know, I'll tell you a small poem. It's for these yeah. difficult times, for all of us, for these corona times, in fact. When things go wrong, hmm, as they sometimes will, when the road you are trudging seems all uphill, yeah. When the funds are low and the debts are high and you want to smile and have to sigh. When care's pressing you down a bit, but don't you quit. See, <laughs> life is queer with its twists and turns. And all of us sometimes turn. And many a person turns about when he might have run had he stuck it out. So yes. don't quit. Though the pace seems slow, you may win with another blow. Yes. Often a struggler has given up when he might have captured the victor's cap. Yes. And he learned too late when the night came down how close he was to the golden crown. And you never can tell how close you are. It might be near when it seems afar. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint in the clouds of doubt. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things seem worse. Ah, ah, ah. You must not quit, right? True. So one should give up in life, one should keep on trying. But how many times will you be unsuccessful? Tell me. Once, <laughs> twice, twice. You keep trying, you keep trying ultimately you will gain success ultimately you will get it it's like you know it's like saying it's all in the mind I'll tell so you the the mind is rightly there with us so we were just going live and there was an error tried twice and thrice to come online and you know we just had to come and it was just a really? trial that needed a little more work and there we are we are with the audience and there are people who are commenting and i'm so sure that everybody is joining now and Rehmat Tanzila. Now, this is one of the lively sessions. How enjoyable. Thanks a lot. Uh, oh, Rehmat. Rehmat, this is, this is aap hi, Rehmat, Rehmat, that was your Rehmat that made it lively. Thanks for joining and thanks for the lovely comment. Thanks for joining so, from both of us. It is an honor to have uh, people who join us and listen to us. It's, it's full of, you know, uh, enjoyable experiences that we are sharing. The struggles, the challenges, the ordeals that uh, Major Ali has faced in life and is sharing because success usually is enjoyed by everybody. When you throw a party, people come, enjoy and they feel vibrant enough. But hardly there are few people who would come up with, okay, let's celebrate the pain. Well, like well, like, since like Ramat is, is there with us right now, she's listening and she's responding as well. Ramat, I had requested Arasu, Shrishti and perhaps Krishna as well yes. to just go on YouTube. Punch in Muhammad Ali Shah Parade and there will be a YouTube channel there. Just share that link on this year. None of them, I'm I'm a little surprised if they were listening. They yes. haven't really shared the link as yeah, yet. The but ones Ramat, who are watching Ramat us Parade. live can listen to Major Ali and type in that link. That will be great. I would be thankful to the ones who are watching us. So probably they don't have the opportunity, but they can do it through the comments. So the ones who are watching us and listening, please, please. Do what Major Ali is saying. It will be it will be an honor for us to have that link flashing on Deep Talks. Well, we were talking about something that never give up on something that you still can work on. And it is an honor for me to hold you here right now. You have held prestigious assignments for working uh, with Pyramid Realty and that of a storyteller. So how did your journey pick up from being a motivational speaker to a storyteller? Because uh, you're making the kids and elders aware of the Indian culture, rituals and significance of the festivals that are talked about. And I'm sure that this is gaining relevance in today's time due to the pandemic even more people are learning the value of living by the time and the values the elders had taught in previous generations so, so do you believe that the values and the indian culture should be preserved more so in the modern time so that people know what is 
kindness and gratitude and what what they can do to preserve the culture brilliant gurleen i'll answer that but before that i'll say hi to geeta geeta thank you very much for that lovely comment geeta i had just i'll repeat this once again i'm so sorry because no one has complied to my request as yet so geeta hopefully you will be the savior geeta i just requested <laughs> rehmat and before that shrishti before that arasu before that krishna to go to youtube get the link of mohammad ali shah parade the youtube channel of mine you can subscribe to it please share that link in the chat box i'll be really grateful geeta if you can do that come on you be the last and savior to do it come on geeta hope you're right now going back to your question uh, gulin there's not much of a difference between an actor and a storyteller yes an actor is telling a story even a director is telling a story even a filmmaker is telling a story True. now motivational speaker motivational speaker is not people people are mistaken that motivational speaker means you need to speak be having good command of the language good voice no all that is an add on that's a fellow friend yeah. thank you that you so so sweet of you your best friend gita go to facebook <laughs> mohammad ali shah send me a friend request i'll accept it on the show itself right away and let's see yeah. number we will we, we, we'll be in touch let me pals thank you Very sweet of you. True. Geeta, I like her. Yeah, I like I like Geeta. She's very sweet. She's very very sweet. Yeah. Share the link as well. Share the link on the on the on the chat. I'll be really grateful. Yeah. Thank you, Ramat. Sure. You didn't show me Ramat. Yeah. Come on. I wish you had put the link. Let's see. Fastest finger first. Well, let's see who yes. puts the link. Gets a prize from me. Anyhow. No, that's that's even more prestigious for them they can win a prize from major ali so please guys who are watching us share the link of major ali and we would be happy to see the surprise coming by your side and that will put a smile not only on our face but yours as well so motivational speaking is not people who have a good voice a good command no motivational speaking means you have to learn through your experiences you've had had to experience that pain that struggle unless and until that hurt that pain is there you have not experienced it you will not be able to motivate anyone and let me tell you one more thing sure. people sure. are under the misconception that people get motivated by hearing success stories sorry or by success no hey how sweet is Ramat, you are the next to me. I five. Oh. Ramat finally showed some Ramat. Thank you. Yeah. This, उटे One. Show me one person in this world, one person who has not experienced sadness in his life. It's impossible to even say that because there are many people who face that, and there are less who express that. So, uh, so I would say that there is no one on this planet who's walking without pains and without worries and without sadness. And I totally agree. that we are all humans we are not god with the grace of god's kindness we all go through the phases of life and as a mental health expert i am here airing this because i feel we are all normal and there is nothing abnormal if there is uh, there are taglines being given to people who are depressive and you know mentally sick i appeal to people to not tag them because that is not calling in for acceptance from a larger section of society where we can give unconditional love so i hope i answered your question major ali parul also joined in hi parul parul that super so yes. good to see you parul i have a friend in school by the name of parul i i, I hope you know that parul or oh, are you that parul just joking 
I know one Parul, okay. but I don't know. I don't know this Parul. So, anyways, yeah, yeah, Parul has joined us, and a good evening to her. Thanks a lot for joining in, because from now on, uh, you are my friend as well. So, thanks a lot for joining in. All right. So, I was telling you guys, there is not a single person in this world who would not have experienced pain or sadness ever in their life. Everyone has done it. Now, True. be it the richest people, be it the most powerful people, be it the most successful people, be it global citizens, everyone has had a difficult time at some point in life. Now, how do you uplift them? By speaking good English? No. no. By speaking good Hindi or Punjabi? No. Not at By all. speaking good French? No. By even sometimes you can communicate in silence as well. Sign language. Sure. And one thing I have always said in my online public speaking academy that I, that I run right now, which is running like very successfully, especially from the West, from the US and UK. I have a lot of students, in fact. So Wonderful. One thing I always tell them is before becoming a good speaker, you have to learn and train yourself to become a good listener. Only sure. if you can listen to others and to your own voice, only then you can articulate and speak and express. And unless and until you observe, you will True. not be able to express. True. So that's one thing. And you know, and also it's all in the mind. I'll say, I'll see, there's a secret I'm sharing, which I want to share earlier as well, but so listen to me. If you think you're beaten, you are, huh? <laughs> if you think you dare not, you don't. True. If like to win, but think you cannot. There's almost a kench you want. <laughs> if you think you outclass, you are. You've got to think high to rise. Yes. You've got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win the prize. For yeah, out in the world, we find success begins with a person's will. <laughs> it's yeah. all in the state of mind. Life's Sorry. battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man. But sooner or later, the person who wins is the one who thinks he can. If you think and if you can see it happen, it will happen. Take it from me. It's my guarantee I'm giving you right now. I'm giving you, I'm saying yeah. this on record. If you yeah. want to achieve something and if you badly want it, even Paulo Coelho said it in The Alchemist. In chapter yes. 5, paragraph 4, line 2. True. That Paul kind of mentioned, if you truly desire something from the bottom of your heart, the whole universe conspires to get it together for you. And the same line totally has been said in Hindi. In Om Shanti Om, Shah Rukh Khan said that. If you want to get it from your heart, then you will get it from your heart. True, true. So, so Raymond has... Rehmat has commented, uh, I got to remember our enactments on Shakespeare's plays by your dialogue delivery, sir. So true. I oh, Rehmat. Oh, Rehmat. Brilliant. Then Rehmat, <laughs> you must have read, uh, you know, Rehmat, I acted in a film called Heather, which was directed by Vishal Bhardwaj. You won't recognize me by all my films. You have, you have to go through my YouTube channel for that. Anyhow, that yes. was an adaptation of William Shakespeare's play Hamlet. So okay. anyway, but uh, reciting Hamlet, before I recite Hamlet's speech, let me recite my one of my favorite speeches, Shadow's speech. From uh, Merchant of Venice, William Shakespeare's. Shadow says, Great. He hath hindered me and disgraced me half a million, laughed at my losses, mocked at my gains, scorned my nation, thought at my bargains. And what's the reason? I am a Jew. Hath not a Jew eyes, organs down. I mentioned sense of affections, but the same food heard by the same weapon. If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you prick us, do we not bleed? And if you harm us, do we not revenge? The will you teach me, I shall execute. And that is a, it was brilliant the way Shakespeare, in brilliant. fact, the most speech of William Shakespeare from Julius Caesar on, yes. on Caesar's death, Mark Anthony, when he addresses Rome, he says, yes. Friend Romans, countrymen, lend me ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good loaf entered with their bones. So let it be with Caesar. The noble Brutus had told you, Caesar was a bishop. If it was so, it was a grievous fault, and grievously as he answered it. Here, under leave of Brutus and the rest, for Brutus is an honorable man. 
So are they all honorable men? Kamar, who speak in Caesar's funeral, he was my friend. Faithful and just to me, yet to the says he was a bishop and sure. He is an honorable man. I speak not to disprove what Brutus spoke, but here yeah, to speak what I do know. What cause would hold you that not to vote for him? Oh, judgment, the heart fled to British peace, and men have lost the reason. My heart is in the coffin there with Caesar, and I must pause till it comes back to me. So, I never want to hear more. Favorite lines follow. Oh, superb. Same here. Same here, Rehmat. Thanks, Rehmat. <laughs> he has said that I am speechless. I love it. Rehmat, thanks a lot for stating it because even I am speechless. Uh, do I oh. have a lot to learn from him? And I'm sure that we all are mesmerized. So is Srishti right now commenting. Srishti, you should have been the first one sharing the link. You missed a chance of the prize anyhow. But the smile on Mejali's face, seeing people joining in and liking the conversation seems a little more interesting. Ramat says, I remember I won the first Ramad prize. Had, yeah, Ramad had recited Kogri from, yeah. from Pendulian. So I, yeah. I will recite that as well. And Ramat says, I have a competition. And I know one you will win. But I would like to compete with a person as like you. That's, I, I would like to re recite. In fact, I know the entire Pagmillion by heart. You know, I, before, oh, I learned Pagmillion, yeah, before I learned Pagmillion, my uncle, Mr. Nasiruddin Shah, made me learn. I am my own grandpa. Let me share that with you, Ramal. And you will relate with it, I'm sure. Listen. Oh, I am my own grand. It sounds funny, I know, but really so. I am my own grandpa. Let me explain to you how. Oh, many, many years ago, when I was 23, I was married to a widow who was as pretty as could be. Now, this widow had a grown-up daughter who had hair so red that my father fell in love with her, and soon the two were wed. Now, this made my dad, my son-in-law, and she, my very life, for my daughter now became my mother since she became my father's wife. Now, to complicate the matter, though it brought me joy, I soon became the father of a bouncing baby boy. Now, this little baby of mine then became a brother-in-law to dad, and so became my uncle, for it made me very sad. For if this little baby of mine was my uncle, then that made him the brother of the widow's grown-up daughter, who, of course, by now was my stepmother. My father's wife then had a son who kept them on the run, and he became my grandchild, Aha, uh -huh. Ramad, I love your command. Okay, super. And he became my grandchild, for he was my stepdaughter's son. My wife is now my stepmother's mother. It makes me blue. Because although she is my wife, she is my grandmother too. Now, if my wife is my grandmother, then obviously I am her grandchild. And every time I think of this, pie caught it nearly drives me wild. For now I've become the strangest case you ever saw. As husband of my own grandma, I am my own grandpa. It sounds wow. funny and complicating, I know, but really so. Thank you. And then... It is wonderful. Thank you. It is wonderful. Superb the way you narrate and the way you let others know about the reality behind it. It is amazing. It is. I hope that I reach that level of speaking with that spark. Though I know everybody is unique and we should you know, utilize our talents in the way we can and come forward with something that is actually motivating a lot many people. So I am really mesmerized with your uh, conversation tonight and it couldn't have been better with all those verses, those lines coming in from experienced people and through your tongue, which is a gift of gab by Lord above. And I am Actually, it's not a gift of gab. Green, I'll tell you. It is not the gift of gab. It's a lot of hard work has gone, a lot of persistence. Definitely. Definitely. Alongside, I would rather say that hard work and dedication is there because a lot of struggles have to be faced. Like even people ask me, uh, how do you, you know, I talk thought so nice you, your, your network paused for a while. Your network paused yes. for a while. So perhaps I thought you got mesmerized, huh? but uh, that was yeah, the definitely. case. Definitely. <laughs> okay. definitely. So, so, you know, also I, when I couldn't speak at all, I would stammer, stutter. So my uncle, Mr. Nasir, Nasir uncle, made me learn some tongue twisters. He said they will help you. So these tongue twisters were. Let me see if I can remember them. Yes. Betty butter bought a bit of butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty butter bought a bit of better butter to make the bitter butter better. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled pepper. A pack of pickled pepper Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled pepper, where's the pack of pickled pepper Peter Piper picked? 
She sells seashells on the seashore, but the seashells are seashells on the seashore are not seashells at all. So, and there were a lot of these tongue twisters. I, I said, okay, if I can speak like this, means I can, and slowly and gradually, I started loving my own self. And when I started loving myself, others started liking me. So unless you respect your own self, you love for your really you know, through your, thank you very much, Shristi. Love for your art really comes across through your enthusiasm becoming the true friend. Hey, Shristi, very sweet of you. Yeah, thanks a lot. I'm touched. I'm really humble. So now the thing is, uh, have you okay? Tell me who has heard Rudyard Kipling's poem? If my favorite all time. I don't want the session to end. Oh, Rama, thank you. Rudyard Kipling's poem, if, if my favorite poem, guys, my favorite poem, my all time favorite. If you go to, if anyone joins the army, the National Defense Academy, it is displayed over there. It says, sure. if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for the doubting too. If you can dream and not make dreams your master. If you can think and not make thoughts your aim. If you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same. Yes. Bear to hear the truth you set by names to make a trap for fools. Or watch the things you gave your life to. Broker. And stoop and build them up with one or tools. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and snoo to serve your turn long after they are gone. And so hold on when there is nothing in you Except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings, nor lose the common touch. If neither force nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, Yours is the earth, that's in it. And which is more, you'll be a man, my son. This is my all time favorite. Rema, thank, I love poetry. Thank you, one. And I, wow, Rema, that's amazing. And you know, I was always a poet and I didn't even know it. Later on, I started writing poetry, it's a different thing. But like right now, I'm not yeah. saying anything of mine I, I, because I am not here to promote myself that way. But I would like yeah. to. Decide somebody from some great writer, Abraham Lincoln, for that matter. Abraham Lincoln, yes. the 16th president of the United States of America, wrote a letter yes. to his son's teacher when his son was yes. starting school. And what did he write? He wrote, Okay. My son starts school today. It is all going to be strange and new to him for a while. And I wish you would treat him gently. It's an adventure that might take him across continents, all adventures that probably include wars, tragedy, and sorrow. So dear teacher, will you please take him by the hands and teach him things he will have to know. Teaching him, but gently if you can. Teach him that for every enemy there is a friend. He will have to know that all men are not just. All men are not true, but teach him also that for every scoundrel, there is a hero. For every crooked politician, there is a dedicated leader. Teach him that for every dollar found, they, you know, it's an amazing letter. Amazing. In school, Very teacher, it's far more honorable to fail than to cheat. Teach him that 10 cents earned is of far more value than a dollar found. In school, teacher, it is far more honorable to fail than to cheat. Teach him how to gracefully lose and to enjoy winning when he does win. Teach him the wonder of books, but also give him quite three mysteries of birds in the sky, bees in the sun, 
and flowers on the green hill. Teach him to have faith in his own ideas, even if everyone tells him they're wrong. Try to give my son the strength not to follow the crowd when everyone else is doing it. Teach him to listen to everyone, but also to filter all that he hears on a screen of truth and take only the good that comes through. Let him have the courage to be impatient. Let him have the patience to be brave. Teach him to have sublime faith in himself because only then will he always have sublime faith in mankind and God. This is the order, teacher, but see what best you can do. He is such a nice little boy and he is my son. Abraham Lincoln Bruce said a very touching, very moving. I love this letter. Wonderful. It's wonderful. It's a great, uh, great way yeah, of speaking. I, mean, I can't help but recite one more. By Khalil Gibran. Definitely. Go ahead, please. Khalil the stage is yours. Uh, you should just let it out. Happen. Khalil Gibran wrote this poem called Fear. Fear is something which okay. we all have experienced in our life. All of us. Yeah. Like when we are scared, oh, Corona, we should not get infected by Corona. I want this memory. I love how you recite with such fluency. Thanks, Rama. Thank you. And Rama, I love it that you put my YouTube channel there. You're my favorite, by the way. Yes. And Sriti has you. also stated that, you know, she would love to have a poem. If you've written one uh, from your side on this uh, show, if you've written few lines ever, then she would want so many. to speak those lines. So many. So many. They're there on my YouTube channel. You'll have to do some manat. Ramat, you also will have to do some manat and go and go there. Okay. Yes. <laughs> but, but, but okay, now this Rehmat one is for Rehmat. Rehmat. They, they do do synchronize together, Ramat and Mehnat. <laughs> That's why I said it, yeah. So now Ramat, since Ramat loves Khalil Gibran, this one is specially for Ramat Tanzila. This is for you, dedicated yes. to you. Yes. It's called fear. It is said that before entering the sea, the river trembles with fear. It looks back at the path it has traveled. Across the peaks of the mountains, the long winding roads crossing forests and villages. And in front of it, it sees an ocean so vast that to enter seems nothing more but to disappear forever. But there's no other way. The river cannot go back. Nobody can go back. To go back is impossible in existence. The river now has to take the risk of entering the ocean because it is now that fear will disappear and the river will know it's not about disappearing into the ocean but of becoming the ocean. Can you also note on marriage, on children, on the, let me say, yeah. on children. Yeah. Yeah. Again, this is for you, Ramat, since you love Khalil Gibran. All right. Your children are not your children. They are the sons and daughters of life longing for itself. They come through you, but not from you. And though they are with you, to you. You may give them your love, but not your oh so heartfelt, but of becoming the old. Thanks, 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 Rema, thanks. So I got distracted by Rema's comment, but super. That was my shortcoming and I would learn. Even a speaker should not get disturbed. Right. Yeah. Now. Your children are not your children. They are the sons and daughters of life longing for itself. They come through you, but not from you. And though they are with you, yet they belong not to you. You may give them your love, but not your thoughts. For they have their own thoughts. You are. It's an amazing one. You know, you must read Khalil Gibran. You must read Prophet. It's exactly. Exactly. It is There's like, a lot to learn. There's a lot to learn it, from these meaningful fact, lines. In fact, Rabindranath Tagore is even, uh, where the mind is without fear, we, we all learn in school. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high. Where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls. Where tireless striving stretches arms towards perfection. Where, oh, it's an amazing one. I love poetry anyway. I'm getting carried away. So, Green, you had some things to ask. You can ask about that. Okay. Yeah, Thanks, wonderful. Rishi. No, no, this, this conversation is great because it's lively. And I like people who bring in their own unique individuality to the show because that it is what it's counting. And I believe that that's what the viewers are really wanting. So on this show, I every time share a quote. And today I'm sharing an act of reality makes a deeper impact than mere imitation of unrealistic expectations. There are a lot many people who have different dreams 
and they make it so big that in the end they have to fall short of their own expectations so you have to live within your means my dear friends you have to you have to value you have to think practical and you have to act so the initiation has to be from your own self you cannot say that tomorrow anybody else is going to fulfill your dream and expectations from others are going to make you happy it has to come from within you and i hope that major ali also resonates on this thought of mine that you have to get up and move you have to initiate because you cannot procrastinate and think your dreams are going to be there fulfilled for you you cannot be spoon fed it is the hard work the dedication and the will courage that goes into something that you are today so never look at the cover page look beyond that so create a vision where you can have practically everything sorted in your mind and move in an optimistic manner that is what i always state on my shows and i feel that is why i have you today with me sharing your deep experiences and wonderful wonderful poetry and lines that can mean a lot to people who are sitting at the corner of the houses and thinking oh what are we doing and why are we conversing and why this deep talks about virtual state i would like to do one i would like to do one poetry in hindi as well okay why not and this poetry was written by a very famous poet by the name of sohan lal divedi and uh, that poem amitabh bachan sahab had recited that poem on kon badega karodpati show so people okay. are thinking that it's, it became very famous on social media by the name of hari vansh bachan rai sahab's poetry because amitabh bachan sahab had recited that right but it's actually exactly. by sohan lal divedi later on amitabh okay. bachan sahab clarified also that it's actually sohan lal divedi's poem listen yes lehro se dar ka roka paar nahi hoti कोशिश करने वालों की कभी हार नहीं होती एक नन्नी चीटी जब दाना लेकर चलती है चढ़ती दीवारों से सब बार फिसलती है मन का विश्वास रगो में साहस भरता है चढ़कर गिरना गिर कर चढ़ना ना खड़ता है मेहनत आखिर उसकी बेकार नहीं होती कोशिश करने वालों की हार नहीं होती डुबकिया सिंधु में गोता खोर लगाता है जा जाकर खाली हाथ लौट आता है मिलते नहीं सहज मोती गहरे पानी में पड़ता दुगना उत्साह इसी है मेहनत आखिर उसकी बेकार नहीं होती कोशिश करने वालों की हार नहीं होती असफलता असफलता एक चुनौती है उसे स्वीकार करो क्या कमी रह गई देखो और सुधार करो जब तक ना हो सफल नींद चैन को त्यागो तुम संघर्ष का मैदान छोड़ मत भागो तुम कुछ करे बिना ही जय जयकार नहीं होती कोशिश करने वालों की हार नहीं होती हार नहीं होती राइट सो ट्राई एंड यू सक्सीड यू यस डीवी एस पी वॉज कारगिल विजय दिवस सो आई एम रिमाइंड बाय लेटर विच एस ऑफ माइंड फ्रॉम द आर्मी Uh, yes. who wrote this letter in uh, on 28 june 1999 and he went up oh. for the final assault towards the enemy and oh. his, his name is captain vijayan thapad i'll tell you about this letter okay. he wrote this letter i said kindly have it posted at home and he wrote okay my loving papa mummy buddy and granny by the time this letter reaches you all, I would be observing you all from the skies, enjoying the hospitality of apsaras. I have no regrets. In fact, if I were to be born again as a human, I would choose to join the army and serve my nation. Whichever organ needs to be taken should be taken and donated. I hope a photograph of mine is kept. 
in the Alpha Company Mandir next to Karni Mata. I hope the sacrifice of these brave men is remembered and inspires generations to come. Papa, you must be proud of me. Mama, so should you. And please go and meet the name is with hand. I loved her. Mamaji, please forgive me for anything wrong that I may have done. Anyhow, it's about time for me to go and join my clan of dirty dozen. My assault party has 12 chaps. Live life, king size. Yours, Robin Jahan. This is what. Bye. Yeah, this is what you that know. That is worth worth sharing with a lot many people because he was so optimistic. I believe that that's uh, that's fantastic and couldn't have been better. Thapar, I mean, must be Captain Johnny Wood fellow. Captain Vijay Thapar received martyrdom. He was killed in action. He uh, gave his life for the nation, defending our motherland. He was awarded the Veer Chakra posthumous after he was after we lost him in action. His family went on his behalf and collected the medal. And so when you go home, these words were written in Kohima. When I was posted in Nagaland in the army with the Assam rifle in the Kohima World War Cemetery, it's written yeah. over there. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. How can a man die better than facing fearful lords? For the ashes of his fathers and the temples of his gods. And there's an oath we take in the army. I will give the family with this oath, in fact. It yes. says, The safety, honor, welfare of your country comes first, always, and yes. every time. Sure. The honor, welfare, and comfort of the men you command comes next. Yes. Your own ease, comfort, and safety comes last, yes. always, and every time. That is the checkout sure. credo. Yes. Uh, I don't know whether you know uh, Colonel Birendra Dhadwal. He just said hi to you. He said you were there in Nagaland with him. So of he's course, one sir, of my of friends. Course, of course. Of course. Yeah, sir, Jay, yeah. sir, how are you, sir? Good so he is a good us. friend to me and uh, you know I, yesterday when I was sharing the flyer so the many people uh, I am thankful to everybody who have you know really bucked me up to hold uh, Major Ali because I know a lot of energy has come along on this show with him being here because it's not easy obviously to have him on board this talk show but yeah. yes so we had we had to be we had to be courteous enough and humble enough and i'm sure that i'm not even uh you know not even uh, up to that mark to host him but definitely uh my stint hey, to be brighter and happier by hosting sky, him sky, sky. Me, yeah yeah so so sky uh is there and i'm going to reach that soon because everybody has uh, his or her own sky in the mindset so I thought that this could be a great start for my show and uh, soon we'll be nearing the 100th episode and you know it's always a pleasure to talk to different people and the ones who always join us I would always feel grateful that if they can share the talk with others because they will come to know more about who is Major Ali and the people who are coming on the love seat sharing their deep experiences a lot more and the world is brighter so every time I share a deep tip on this show this is Making your world brighter is by making a thought work into an act that speaks volumes. My dear friends, every day try making a thought of yours into an action and try seeing your weaknesses and bring them into your strengths. That will make you make your life a little better. Think better, Bulli, brighter. Bulli, I'm just tempted to share one more. You know, I'm, since it was Kavi Vijay Devas, just uh, Why not? Was cool. It's a wonderful poem. Why it's not? not my own poem. It's by, I think, an author by the name of B. Kumar. I read on the internet, in fact. He writes, We both left home at 18. 
You cleared the prestigious JEE. I cleared an entrance test of UPSC. You got through IIT to the NDA. You pursued your degree. I pursued my passion and underwent the most rigorous and the toughest training. Your day started at 9 and ended at 5. Mine started at 5 and went on beyond 9 at night, sometimes staying up many a nights. You had your convocation ceremony. I had my passing out parade with pride. Best company took you and the best package was awarded to you. I was pipped with two stars on my shoulders, which I perceive is worth more than a million in the sky. You got a plum job. I got a way of life. We were both sent on our respective duties. And before that, we both got married. You got to see your family every day. I just wished I got to see my parents and my wife soon. We were sent on respective duties. You went on luxurious business trips. I was sent on the rugged line of control. You celebrated festivals with lights, music, played with firecrackers with family. I celebrated festivals with firearms and played with my life in bunkers along with my comrades. Well, after performing our respective duties, we both returned. Both wives couldn't control the tears. And you wiped hers, but I couldn't. You hugged her, but I couldn't because My bullet-ridden body was lying in the coffin with medals on my chest and the coffin was wrapped with a tricolor. My way of life ended. Yours continued. We both left home at 18. I became a martyr. But martyrs never die. They become legends and live in our hearts and minds forever. So I had to say, I was very tempted, and there's so much I can go on. Ramath has commented yes. something. Never stayed yes. for this much Ramath long. Ramath has commented. I have never yes. stayed for this much long. Ha, ah, go on. I have never stayed for this much long in any online session, even my online meetings. Thanks for this, and I would ask you, pray for me too. Ma'am Gurleen, you're just amazing. Wish I were there. I would have loved to meet you both. Thanks a lot, Ramath. It makes my evening a little more special. For the people who have joined in, they've taken the valuable time and the conversations seem to be never ending and they're just flowing. I am just not even knowing the time. So we have even crossed the time limit, but it, it states that we are giving you enough experiences that we can share on this platform so that you all can be motivated, inspired, or you can take away something that could be enlightening your life and making you live a little more brighter and better. And Goodling, there's one more poem, which is one of my favorites, in fact. I had Thomas Hardy's poem, I read this in school. But you know, okay. someone, any of you can just share my YouTube channel link once more over here. The parade or Josh to Mohammed Alisha Josh skills or Mohammed Ali. Alisha. Okay. And so anyway, so just share the link while I why you share the link, uh Ramath or Srishti or anyone. Is it the same so, link Thomas, that was posted before, or yeah, is it a different link? The same link, same link, just refresh it. So, it, it so I have refreshed. already flashed it on the screen itself. Ramath had posted this, so it's there on the screen. Ramath is a best friend, by the way. I'll never forget you. Thanks. Very, very sweet of you. Thanks a lot. So listen, Thomas Hardy writes. He writes the story of two soldiers who are posted on a border in the battlefield. But had they met elsewhere, not at the battlefield, not in a war, war zone, how things would have been different for them. Okay. They probably would have been friends. They would have probably treated each other in a bar for a drink. They probably would have yes. sat down and talked, right? 
So listen to this point. Yes. Almost how do you guys? Okay. Hello. I think I'm frozen. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. I think there. Audible. Is there? Yes. Yes. It's there. All right. So anyway, so. I'm getting carried away. Let me know if I'm uh, going overboard with the poems. There's so many poems just no, throwing that, in. That's all right. Oh, we can hear you. Okay, fine. I, I thought we, we lost the connection somewhere. That is why. Okay. We are very much there. Had he and I but met at an old ancient inn, we would have sat us down to wet by many a nip again. But rage rather than fentry, staring face to face. I shot at him as he at me and killed him in his place. I shot at him because, because he was my foe. Just so. He was a foe. Yes, he was my foe. That's clear enough. Although I thought he would list perhaps just as I, without a work, had sold straps. No other reason why. Yes, quaint and curious war is. You shoot a fellow down. You would treat if met where any bar is, or help to half a crown. It's about to. It's like you know, it's on the eve of the of Second World War, on twenty-four December, France and Germany, who were bitter enemies for centuries together, yes, worse than what India and Pakistan are, or or Palestine and Israel are, France True. and Germany, they had a friendly True. football match at the border. They played football. <laughs> they sang together. They danced. They, they rejoiced. But the next morning, when the ceasefire got over, when the orders were passed, they were back to firing at each other. The soldiers on the either side of the border are not personal enemies. They are performing the duty. True. Just like we are soldiers. The other True. side, they are also soldiers. They also are fighting for their motherland. When I was in the True. army, I had a paper. On my training desk, when I was in the academy, which read, The more you sweat in peace, the less you bleed at war. And that helped me in good stead. Even in my theatre, I would rehearse for a performance and then perform. Keep rehearsing and then perform. The more you sweat Wonderful. in peace, the less you bleed at war. And, and I realized the aim is not to die for your country as an army man. The aim is to let the enemy die for their country. Yeah. Right. So, so, Very well so said. Much, thank you. There's so much to share through my experiences in the army, through, exactly. you know, when I, through, from the army, from the film industry, the film that I did for Yara, yeah. I grew my beard Yara, and my yeah. hair for two and a half years. I learned to tie a six meters turban myself. I learned Thet Punjabi. <laughs> Punjabi, I learned Punjabi, I learned Punjabi, I learned Punjabi, I learned Ah, I spent a month in in the Golden Temple. I was doing seva, I would sleep on the floor. I would do the good, jhadu, pocha, bartan, I would clean the utensils, I would great. serve food, make tea. And I've completed reading the Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Not just the Guru Mukhi, the Guru Granth Sahib Ji, the English version. And you cannot read it without having a pagdi and the beard and all. And Kesh, yeah, I followed the five, the full, and I literally became Jasjeet Singh. So when people <laughs> who see, all right, they're on Z5, you can see it. This yes, Vijut Jamal yes. with me. Shruti Hassan, yeah. you can't recognize me at all. You can't yeah. recognize me in Hazard, you can't recognize me in Bajrangi Bhaijan, you can't recognize me in, in yeah. Agent Vinod, you can't recognize me yeah. in Vodka Diary, you can't recognize me in the Tashkin Files, you can't recognize me in the film that, that I have done. So get into the so, character totally. Yeah, and it's all about passion. It's about how badly yeah. you want it. The, you know, the passion. Uh, Rehman has given a very nice comment. Let me read this. Exactly. I would like it's to a for my poem, bless that go with the conversation. Don't be scared if you cannot swim. Just give yourself to the water and teach you. No one touch the base without kicking off the crest. You're born to conquer yourself because you are blessed. 
live for the moment you are in. You've got countless competitions, all to win. Don't submit yourself to the fears, screaming to the best. You are born to kill them, all because you are blessed. Ab absolutely. That again reminds me of a poem by Erin Hansen called Not. Okay. What does Erin Hansen write? Erin Hansen says, you're not your age or the size of clothes you wear. You're not a weight or the color of your hair. And it's amazing. I mean, you know, it is like hats off to your dedication. Thanks, Rishi. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah. So you must. Yeah, okay. People are okay. uh, getting I'll inspired be... by you, and I'm sure that this uh, is going to be, you know, uh, shared by many people, and they're going to like this deep talks show uh, because it's a special. Because a lot many people come, but a lot many people with a, a higher frequency to converse. Uh, with a little bit of poetry and a touch of theater, touch of acting is still to be witnessed. So this show could make that thing happen on Deep Talks and it could go, you know, just um, overnight it could just be shared with everybody and across the globe. People would be admiring this and I'm so, uh, so happy that I have hosted. One more thing, one more thing. We had English, we had Hindi, we didn't have Urdu. Yeah, Punjabi also. Urdu, yeah. And Punjabi yeah. also, we had Punjabi. Urdu. Uh, Urdu, when I speak of Urdu, I think of Mirza Ghalib, the great poet. My uncle played Mirza Ghalib's role in this uh, serial called Guldar serial. So okay, I, know yeah, I, that that I know letters by heart. And there's another poet by the name of Faiz Ahmed Faiz. Uh, okay. And yeah, Ramad, even I feel like a drawing room. Yeah, absolutely. Chill, Maro. Yeah, give me a high five for that, Ramad. I, feel, uh, <laughs> I know you've changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're preparing to go to bed. Yeah, that is it, Ramad. Absolutely. Okay. First, Fair Ahmed Fair says in a very small lesson called Bol. Bol kela baazad hai tere, Bol sabab tak tere hai. Tera sutva jis mein tera Bol ke chaap tak tere hai. Dekh ke angar ki dukaan mein tur nae shole surkh hai aan. Kulne lage kufro ke daane. Hala Hareg Zan. Bol ye thoda vakht baut hai. Jis mojaan ki maut se pehle. Bol ye vakht thoda hi baut hai. Bol jo kuch kehra hai kehre. And now I will tell you something about Shang. Thank you. Baut khub aas. You know Farsi. Rehma, you know Farsi. Let me, I'll be something in Farsi then for you then. If you know Farsi. Okay. Now Mirza Khalil wrote several letters. You know his letters are very famous. More than um, his Sheer Shairi, people are really familiar with this. Like he said, Hame to apno ne hai lota, khairo mein kaha tam tha. Pani kasi, vahi dubi, jaha pani kam tha. So people know of his Sheer Shairi, but his letters. So he would write letters in 1857 when Badr Shah Zafar's court was there. And Nawab Hassan Zohk, Mirza Ghalib's Ustad. And Mirza Ghalib, they would have Jogal Bandi. So one and you like I quite like Shero Shairi, so that's a different connotation altogether. Because on this show, this conversation is not going to end if we start one by one on Shero Shairi, because I'm fond of writing. So I feel that this is something that's amazing. If anybody has a talent, one should explore to the you know, uh, I mean, I, sh I think people should explore their talents and they should take out their me time and try to find out various ways as to how they can, you know, uh, bring in some opportunities in their life where they are engaged because an idle mind is a devil's workshop. So everybody can actually look into their potential skills and you may never know when the time is, you know, there and you are utilizing that skill in your life. That is what I think I have experienced in my life while hosting these shows. That how much um, you know passionate you can be towards your profession as well as your hobbies. And um, now my hobby is going to become my profession, and that is wonderful because in counseling I do listen and I do more of listening. So here I do more of talking. So I am actually utilizing all my skills and making it club into something that actually utilizes my energy to the fullest potential. I hope that Major Ali is doing the same. He's a multifaceted personality. 
sitting on this love seat and shared a lot more than we can expect in this one and a half hour session. And I would love you to share a message with the viewers before we end this conversation, which I know the viewers would not love to even uh, say a goodbye to you because they are so much in love with what you have spoken on this show. And I hope that I bring many more wonderful guests like you on the show and you would be helping me have more of the celebrities, actors, theater personalities coming and joining and even people from your, you know, um, academy joining me on this show because I would want to interact with as many people as I can to learn a lot from everyone of every age. Thank you, Leen. Uh, the my message to all of you is, guys, never give up in life. Enjoy life to the fullest. Never get upset with small things. Live for today. Live for the moment. Stay and the best way to do too many things in life. I've been in the arrangement. I've been a theater actor. I've been an international direct speaker and whatnot. But the best way to do too many things in life is to do one thing at, at a time. At time. And never put your feet together in two different boats. It'll be a disaster. Sure. Do one thing, give it your best, and then start the other. Sure. And commitment and integrity. Like, you know, when I was leading the parade in the army on 26th January, Rajpath, I had two fractured legs. When I saluted the president of India, both yes. my legs were fractured. If you have a fracture, one small fracture, you can't stand. It's yes. difficult to stand. I was marching to Rajpath. The men behind me. <laughs> now, after I cross India Gate, I take a left turn. It's a 14 kilometer tough march right till Red Fort. We have, we have to march digging in our heels. Now, nobody was watching us. There were no cameras. There was no audience. There were no spectators. There was no one. There was no media. Yes. Had I wanted, I could have taken it easy and walked. Yes. I don't have to march. Why? Because no one was watching me. But my men behind me were watching me, right? And I was the officer leading them. If I do that, you can imagine what will they think yes. of me? What respect will they have for me? Yes, that, that holds respect. Integrity. It is commendable. Commendable, Integrity commendable that you've had uh, so much to share on this show. Uh, that is a great message to the audience, to the viewers and uh, I am honored once again to have you on my show. If you have a message for me, you can always say it on the show. Yeah, the, the message is, Ramadan, oi, tu si ja rahe ho, tu si na jao, so nahi aayenge bhai. So, Ghalib sahab ki aap khat suniye bale to aap. Ghalib sahab, you would, he would write letters the way in today's world. Yes, I got it. I got what I wanted. You, you, you. Not you, Gurli. Gurli, not you. Yes. But you. Yeah, yeah, you only. Ah, I'm talking to you. I saw you, you, I, I could just visualize you. You were with your phone, right? Sending some WhatsApp message to someone at this time. No. So the way we, we send WhatsApp messages or BBM or Facebook or SMS, emails, Twitter, Instagram. Similarly, Mirza Ghalib in his time in 1857, he would write letters. Yes. It's, it happens on WhatsApp. You send a message to somebody and you get two blue ticks. That means the person yes. has seen the message but has not replied. You feel bad yes. about it. Yes. A message. But we don't realize the person would be driving, cooking, might be in the shower, might yes. yeah, there could be anything else, right? But we don't see. But no, two blue ticks came, the person didn't reply. So Mirza Khalib would write letters. And uh, one day he bumped into his wife's nephew, Nawab Alai, in the market and he says, so I don't write letters because I don't I don't know your address. So he writes, he gets back and he gets very angry, he writes. Pachas Baras se Dilli Mereta. Pazara khat atra fo jamanit se ate. Bot loga se hejo mahala ni likte. Self share ka nam or mera nam. आप सिर्फ दहली लिखकर मेरा नाम लिख दिया कीजिए 
खत पहुंचने का मैं सामने अब दो घंटा भर से तो छत चार घंटे बरसती है अगर तुमसे हो सके तो भाई से मुझको वो हवेली जहां मीर हसन रहते थे और कोठी में से वो बला खाना में दिलाने जहरी जो इलाही बख्श मरूम का मस्कन था मेरे रहने को दिलवा दो सताइस जुलाई अठारह सौ बासठ सताइस जुलाई जो अब परसों हुई है अठारह सौ बासठ अब मैं और बासठ रुपये साठ आने कलेक्ट्री के सौ रुपए इनकम टैक्स जुदा सूर जुदा मुंह जुदा बीवी जुदा बच्चे जुदा शागि पेशा जुदा तंग आ गया गुजारा मुश्किल हो गया सुबह सुबह की तबरीत मतरू चाष्ट का गोश्त आधा रात की शराब और गुलाब मौकूफ बीस बाईस रुपया महीना बचा यारों ने पूछा तबरीत और शराब कब तक ना पियोगे जवाब दिया जब तक वो ना पिलाएंगे अरे जो ना पियोगे तो किस तरह जियोगे जवाब दिया जिस तरह वो पिलाएंगे महीना पूरा नहीं गुजरा था कि रामपुर से अलावा सबई मुकर्री और रुपया आ गया खैर हो सुबह की तबरीद रात की शराब जारी हो गई कोश <laughs> पूरा आने लगा एंड वन मो ए मेरी जान ये वो दिल्ली नहीं है जहां तुम पैदा हुए हो ये वो दिल्ली नहीं है जहां तुमने इल्म तहसील किया है ये वो दिल्ली नहीं है जहां तुम शोबान बेग की हवेली में मुझसे पढ़ने आते थे ये वो दिल्ली नहीं है जहां सात वर्ष की उम्र से आता जाता हूं ये वो दिल्ली नहीं है जहां इक्यावन वर्ष से मुखीम हो एक मिलिट्री कम है ओके आई डू वन लास्ट लेटर ऑफ गालिब विच आई लव माई फेवरेट लेटर फ्रॉम मिर्जा गालिब लेटर ऑल इज लेटर इन फैक्ट उर्दू इट बी डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड ट्रांसलेटेड It took me okay. eight readings to actually understand it. Eight times I had to read it to understand. Yeah. That was partly. Okay. Ram, his best friend, Mirza Taftar's beloved, Elia, unki udhar jati hai. To wo ek taaziyat mein ne condolence ek khat likhte hai. Kya likhte hai? Ram na khao. Ram na khao. Jo na jaan na sahi, mu na jaan sahi. जब मैं बहिष्ट का तस्वुर करता हूं और सोचता हूं कि अगर मकफिरत हो गई एक कसर मिला और एक हूर मिली अखामत जावेदानी है उसी ने एक वक्त के साथ नसानी है इस तस्वुर से जी घबराता है और कलेजा मुंह को आता है हाय हाय वो हूर अजीरन हो जावेगी तबीयत क्यों ना घबरावेगी या होश में आओ कहीं और दिल लगाओ सो ही राइट आर एक्सपीरियंस गम ना खाओ जो ना जान ना सही मुना जान सही डोंट वरी दिस प्लेट ऑफ नसी दी मीन सी ना बी सी सेट ऑफ ह्यूमर जब मैं बहिष्ट का तस्वुर करता हूं मैं थिंक ऑफ द डे ऑफ पैराडाइज वर्ल्ड इज कम टू एन एंड वाक्य बात है बहुत खूब दिल से थैंक यू थैंक यू रेम थैंक यू श्री जब मैं बहिष्ट का तस्वुर करता हूं थिंक ऑफ द डे ऑफ द पैराडाइज तस्वुर सोचना कल्पना करना इमेजिनेशन सोच रहा हूं सोचता हूं कि अगर मकफिरत हो गई मकफिरत इन उर्दू मीन्स मेरे सारे गुना माफ कर दिए गए और मेरे को जन्नत नसीब हो गई आई वॉन्ट टू और एक कसर मिला और एक हूर मिली कसर मीन्स अ कैसल अर मीन्स अ डैमसल अ ब्यूटिफुल एक कसर मिला और एक हूर मिली अखामत जा वेदानी है और उसी ने एक वक्त के साथ बखानी है इट्स अ ग्रेट लाइफ दे आफ्टर इट्स अ ग्रेट लाइफ इन दट कैसल अकामत जय वैदानी है उसी नेक बात इज फॉर एवर इज फॉर एटर्निटी दे इज नो आफ्टर लाइफ हियर आफ्टर यस हाय हाय वो हूर अजीरन हो जावेगी इवन दो शी दूर इवन दो लिविंग इन कैसल अजीरन इन उर्दू मीन्स इन टॉलरेबल हाय हाय वो हूर अजीरन हो जावेगी तबियत क्यों ना घबरा गई आई विल गेट रेस्ट बाय थॉट होश में आओ कहीं और दिल लगाओ वॉट अ डीप मीनिंग इन सिलेटर राइट एनी 
एक और सुनिए आप उर्दू में सुनिए भाई एक प्लेस है एक शेजादे साहब है शेजादे साहब जंगल से गुजर रहे हैं एक सफेद घोड़ा है और घोड़े को लेके वो जंगल में भटक गए हैं खो गए हैं तो घोड़े को पेड़ से बांधते हैं ठंड बहुत हो रही है तो फिर आग लगा के बैठ जाते हैं वहां पे मस्त ठीक है भाई सुबह को निकलेंगे रात तक यहाँ पे इंतजार करते हैं सफेद घोड़ा है उसका नाम है सोलोमन सोलोमन को पेड़ से बांध देते हैं और बैठ जाते हैं आग के आगे हाथ देख रहे हैं सोलो और घोड़े से बात करते हैं बोलते हैं सोलोमन क्या तुमने कभी प्यार किया है प्यार भी ऐसा जो पहले दीदार में हो जाए दीदार ऐसा कि सामने वाले का चेहरा भी आधा दिखाई दे देखो ये 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 आग अपनी चमक पर कितना इतना आ रही है और कसम से दोस्त इस आग की चमक उस आग के सामने कुछ नहीं है जो आज नकाब की आड़ में मैंने देखी है उस हुसने माताब की रोशनी अब तक मेरे दिल में चमक रही है और सारे दिल को रोशन कर रही है तो जानते हो मेरा दिल कितना बड़ा है इस जंगल से भी बड़ा बहुत बड़ा हाँ उस हुसने महताब को देखने से पहले वो इस जंगल की तरह हुसन की धूप के लिए व्यवस्था था देखो ये आग इतरा रही है कि इसने जंगल के अंधेरे को चीर दिया इसने सींध लगा दी मगर कितनी क्या क्या तुम्हें वो वो पेड़ दिखाई दे रहा है नहीं ना पर कसम से दोस्त उस हुसन की रोशनी ने मेरे दिल के गोशे गोशे में चिरागा कर दिया है काश मैं उस फैजाद का पूरा चेहरा देख पाता ऐ खामोश सितारों जंगल मैं तुम्हारे सामने कबूल करता हूं कि मैंने अपने नापाक हाथों से उस मलिका हुसन के अंश हुए बदन को छुआया और इस गुनाह की सजा मुझे ये मिली कि मेरा दिल उसके प्यार में गिरफ्तार हो गया और अब एक मासूम बच्चे की उठती गिरती आंख की तरह धड़क रहा है कुछ मासूम सवालों के साथ क्या करूं खाम सो जाओ क्या मालूम वो ख्वाब मर में आके अपना चेहरा दिखाई दे उसे देखने के लिए ही सोता हूं उसे सुनने के लिए चुप हो जाता हूं एकदम चुप खामोश चांद की तरह सो आई कैन गो ऑन इट्स लाइक आई लव परफॉर्मिंग इट्स अ पैशन विद मी एंड माइंड यू माइंड यू वन मोर थिंग गाइस द सेम बॉय हु कुडंट स्पीक एट ऑल हु बिगन टू स्पीक वेरी लेट इन लाइफ आई मीन लर्न टू स्पीक ही स्टैमर स्टटर लिस गेट स्टक व्हाइल स्पीकिंग अंडर कॉन्फिडेंस शाय टिमिड गाय हु फॉर द लाइन ऑन स्टेज who was made fun of who teased bullied who who feel the year in school repeated his class but then cleared the iims the, that is like the toppers of the of iitians come there after clearing je they cleared cat and then they come there so the boy who couldn't speak has given the highest number of tedx talks in the world the boy who flunked in school Yes. You know, this is another wonderful poem, and I got on WhatsApp just this morning, and if I remember correctly, it said something like, you know, the topper of the class is a happy homemaker, the back bench of the lot turned into a well-known designer, the yes. often ignored Joe became a well-known writer, and the fiery and the flamboyant fashionista. True. became a well known no lawyer the one who failed in the maths paper is a very famous web designer and the boy who stood often out in the class is a respected army officer the reunion taught me how people come with many layers and don't need have a jaja book by its cover each child out there has a different success story right So I was a child who was always living in self doubt. We have popped in again on this show. So before this technical error goes a little longer, is there any experience of yours 
that has touched your heart and you still remember it even now like one from your fans or from your close ones if you remember so can you share that so that this conversation remains etched in the minds of people who will be watching this so it will be great if you share something that that can you know make that fan of yours really happy gurveen it was the year 2014 and i was very new to mumbai i had just okay. shot for vishal bhardwaj's film heather and i was staying okay. in a place called boysar which is 120 km away from the main city in mumbai so okay. one day at boysar station early morning so i had to travel for two and a half hours from the, the local train i had to hang myself and that's the, the 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 days i bought a bicycle for myself that's the time you know I had to hang myself for 120 km i couldn't bicycle up to mumbai so at boysar station early morning at 6:30 i saw a crowd standing Okay. Oh, we have a habit as human beings. We gather and see what's going on. Beer chal, herd mentality. What's going on? But we will not do anything about it. But we will rather go and join the crowd. So oh, I also went and looked. What's the crowd about? And I saw a pool of red blood flowing in, fresh. And there was a man lying down, dead, with a veil on his head. And around the dead body were people. crowded around the first thing i did was being an army officer i have seen enough blood shed i have been in the line of fire i've let on the front but let me tell you war is not the solution at the end of the war a mother waits for her son a father yes. waits for his son yes a brother loses a brother a wife loses a husband a sister loses yes. a brother a friend loses a friend yes. it is the politicians who shake hands yes at the end of the day we all humans true mahatma gandhi once said an eye for an eye will make the nation go blind he had given the speech on 2nd august 1945 at sabarmati yes and so any also i found this full of blood for this dead body so first thing i moved the wheel and i checked okay. his pulse you don't believe i tell you the pulse was there god i saw i checked his breath he was breathing i immediately told everyone guys move out clear the area don't look crowd around yes. and i said is there any nursing assistant there was, i so i there was a train coming train coming and i didn't have time to go above the bridge and all so i just rushed yes. to the train i risked my life there was a train coming but i, I didn't care i just i shouldn't it's wrong thing to do wrong example but i just rushed And dashed down and went to the station master's office, grabbed the mom, the mic. Hey, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? One minute, brother. Don't come at me. I asked, is there any? Have you any nursing assistant or doctor? Who is it? Ambulance? Maga, it's an emergency. Hai. Logo ne lash samjha hai. Lash nahi hai yahan pe. Lo, aadmi zinda hai. Usko sakt emergency medical aid ki zarurat hai. Sure. And then we rushed him. Ambulance came and we rushed him to the hospital. God. Guy was placed on the ventilator and he survived. Yeah, that is fantastic, and that's an experience that's uh, that's you know you have made someone live, uh, and and it is wonderful because nobody would I know that that example that you're saying is could be wrong, but at that point of time you were practical enough to see that this person can live, and you were the one, you were the savior. So anyone can help anyone. Asking for help and giving help should be. just as natural like people these days they don't you know easily help people so uh, this is a great message uh, to all those who have joined us vinay bangya thanks a lot for joining in rehmat tanzeer hey vinay bangya how are you chat vinay hey vinay i hope you subscribe thanks to my youtube channel go on, go on youtube mohammad ali shah rehmat phir se ek baar link share kar do bhaiya please yaar meharbani hogi yes yes i so, can so, share the link once again so uh, the uh, the Despite all this that what we have shared tonight I believe that we have had a great conversation my dear friends the ones who have joined us Gurin, it is wonderful Gurin, ek aur ek aur akhri one ye hamare vinayak bhai sahab ke liye kyunki vinayak bhai abhi aaye why not bhai why kyunki main fall ke bhi reh chuka hu maine corporate life bhi dekhi hai so a difference between leadership and management hmm? yes a boss says i a leader says we a boss says get there on time a leader gets there ahead of time 
A boss knows how it is done. A leader shows how it is to be done. A sure. boss says, go. A leader says, let's go. Let's go. A boss lets his people know where he stands. A leader lets his people know where they stand. A boss works hard to produce. A leader works hard to help his people produce. A boss takes the credit. A leader gives it away. So, who are you? A boss or a leader? Think and take action to be a leader. Not a boss. Sure. But yeah, my talk will never end, Gurleen. I can go until morning. Yeah, that's true. That's the wonderful because this is an eternal conversation. We talk health, man. Yes, Rehmat Tanzila's. Gurleen, have you subscribed? My dear viewers, please do subscribe. Yes, and get in touch with anyone, and you will be feeling better once you see the channel and you will subscribe and you will come to know what kind of a personality Major Muhammad Ali Shah is. And despite the fact that this conversation is coming to an end, I need to really, really thank all those who had joined us and the ones who will be sharing this link after this episode ends up. I would love to say that stay glued to this screen because this is the 67th episode and we would be hosting someone really special in the next episode. And a last parting line so that this conversation just uh, gets a little uplift and... All over to you, Major Ali Mohammed Shah. And I will give you advice. I will give you a poem. Because we stayed up the late night and in the morning, we, we have a work in the morning. So, you know. Yes. If the mountain seems too big today, climb a hill instead. If the morning brings you sadness, it's okay to stay in bed. If the day ahead feels heavy and your plans feel like a curse, there's no shame in rearranging. Don't make yourself feel worse. A day is not a lifetime. A rest is not defeat. It is just a quiet, kind retreat. The mountain will still be there when you want to climb again. When climbing in your own time, just love yourself till then. Yeah, guys. Love yourself, guys. Love yourselves. Love yourself. Where love takes a seat, confidence gets a high. Sky becomes a mission. Fly deals with thoughts converted in actions. This was Kudlin Coker, your host and your lovable friend, streaming this live 67th episode of Deep Talks with the Major Mohammad Ali Shah. And that was a wonderful show tonight. Thanks a lot once again, Major Mohammad Ali Shah, for honoring Deep Talks. And I hope that we stay as friends and you bring in a lot many souls to this show. Thanks a lot. Good night, dear friends. Bye-bye.